Alright, this one's going to be on Zangius plugins and extensions. Uh, I explained this last time, but if you don't know what Zangius is, it's basically a backend program to log in all your information. Like, uh, if you open a document or a file or um, a program, you go to a website or whatever, it'll log all that information and um, uh, whatever you know program that access Zangius will have that information. So Zyngus itself doesn't have any GUI, but uh, in the past I talked about the GNOME Active Journal, which uh, it uses Zyngus to gather, uh, you know, all your history of what you've done. Uh, so the new one was uh, Synapse. This is also uses Zyngus, and it access those same information. Okay, it's not anything different. Uh, so let me give you an example. Let's say if I open an image, let's see here pictures. Okay. And let's say I open up, uh, what is this? I don't know. 50, I don't know. What is, what is this one? 50 JPEG, right? If I open this, uh, you can see that it'll log it uh, instantly. So I, we open 50, you can see that it works right here. Same thing if you use, um, you know, a synapse here. Go to image, go push down. You can see that it says open it a few minutes ago. So anything that access Zyngus will have that information instantly. Okay. Um, so that's that. Now as far as for installing Zyngus, uh, I actually recommend installing from the PPA that they have. So after you install the PPA, what you want to do is update your Zyngus. Okay. And what else is here? You probably want to install this one too the uh, FTS one basically is just a uh, I guess a new algorithm that they have um, and as far as for the plugins that they have here they have a few at the moment because I guess um, it doesn't work with all the apps you know by default because you know Zyngus is like a new program and all these ones like old one but they do have plugins to enhance uh, Zyngus so they get more information from it so for example if I have gedit um, you know whatever program you have by default then you install it so if I, ha I have gedit I have Rhythmbox I have uh, uh, Totem if you use um, Tomboy or Vim or whatever then install those also but I don't use those now after you install this what you want to do is open the programs so let me open uh, Totem here so this is totem. What you want to do is for all the programs is you know find it and then it should say plugins or preference or whatever it is. Go in there and you'll see uh, a Zyngus plugin. So enable that. Uh, do the same thing for the other ones like that G Edit or something, right? And uh, here we go. Go to preference and then we go to plugins and there should be a Zyngus one here. And all you do is check it and enable it. Now this will actually, uh, you know, help Zyngus gather more information, and it'll actually be good for you because, um, you know, you use uh, all these uh, default programs. Uh, so that basically that's all you gotta do for that. Now they don't actually have a uh, extension for your web browsing, uh, you know, history, but they do have one uh, plugin for Chromium. Um, I don't think they have one for Firefox, so you're out of luck there. But I don't use Firefox anyways. Uh, so if you want the plugin for Chromium, let me see here. I think Web Updates here has it. So these are the requirements uh, to uh, to make it work. And here's the extension, 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. So download that, unzip it, and it's going to come out in a CRX format. What you want to do is drag the CRX format into your uh, Chrome browser, okay? And that's it, it'll install it. It'll pop up this message, say you want to install it, and say yes. That's basically it, you're done. And now it will log all your, um, you know, web history that you've gone to. Uh, basically, that's it, though, you know? Now you can access all your, um, let me see here. They have the, the the websites here too, so if I go check out my websites that I've been to, uh, you can see that these are all the websites. Same thing, right? Same difference. 
Anyways, that's it for Zyngus. Uh Get the updated version, get the plugins, and uh, improve your experience. That's it for this one.